Uh, Jason Michael Thomas, too, you can just hang right there. Okay, you stay comfortable. Jason Michael Thomas talking all things mushrooms. One of the mushrooms I had heard of. The other one, I had no idea this was a mushroom, Jason. Yeah, <clears throat> these are kind of exciting and fun mushrooms. Yes. Because people don't see them all the time. Actually, there are farmers locally that even grow lion's mane. Lion's mane. But um, this is a big, wild specimen. Uh, I got this. Uh, it's a 10-pounder. And they wow. might, I think I sent a picture that you could probably show, but check out, it's, it was literally this big. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was literally this That's big. That's crazy. So you can take it apart and it was super fresh. It was just amazing to, there, to find that. There's the picture up there right now. Yeah, um, that's one of the maitakis. So that's what we're talking about this segment. Okay, maitakis. So these are the maitakis. You see how beautiful that is on the screen there. So what's the difference between, between maitake and shiitake? Other than the name. Um, I think there's quite a few differences. I okay. mean, just where they choose to grow. They both do seem to like oak trees. That's interesting. Oh, <laughs> but okay. however, uh, but yeah, the maitake is also known as sheep's head or hen of the woods because if you're looking at that wonderful photo that you saw, it just kind of looks yeah. like the tail feathers. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, so that's kind of so fun. Neat. Yeah, and the medicinal benefits of these mushrooms are pretty incredible as well. Um, so, you know, these are known for helping your immune system. They can be extremely high in vitamin D, things that we actually have a hard time finding at this yeah. time of year. So things that you can supplement your diet with to boost your immune system. There you go. And they've even been uh, used in, I mean, you can find fancy powders online. They're selling yeah. this stuff like... It's, it's pretty amazing, the, uh, the research that they're doing on wild mushrooms and huh. discovering all these beautiful benefits. And, so. and, and that, those nutritional benefits are not diminished at all when we, when we heat them up in a skillet? or Absolutely not. So sometimes uh, when you're dealing with a wild mushroom, they need to be cooked. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So yeah. that's another thing I really wanted to mention. It's so important to know your mushrooms. Mm -hmm. You can't just go out in the wild and start picking mushrooms yeah. and thinking you're going to be okay. There are old mushroom hunters. There are bold mushroom hunters. <laughs> there are no old and bold mushroom hunters. Yeah. <laughs> so don't eat it unless you're 100% certain what it is, because it could kill you. Yeah. <laughs> so, so these are very go. important things to remember as well. <laughs> so yeah, with the maitakis today, I was going to just kind of show you how to use it to make, you know, it can be used as a meat alternative, or it's really good with meat. Yeah. But in this instance, I'm just kind of doing a nice broth with some fresh, bright vegetables. So I've got, you know, all these local things that I've amassed. Um, actually, these are all from South Circle Farm. These are my friends um, yeah, those with are Mad Farmers those Collective. In there. So we've got some rainbow carrots and the, uh, the beautiful watermelon radish. Have you guys seen one Great. of these? Seen these before? I they're, think they're bright pink on the inside. Uh -huh. Yes, so they're a lot I of fun. believe I have. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we've also got some Romanesco. These are super fun to look at too, Romanesco. because you've got the the Fibonacci sequence. It's a spiral in there, so nature just showing you like almost like a sunflower when you look at it. So yeah, yeah. we're gonna plate these up. We've got these uh, maitakis that we've been just sautéing lightly with some onion and with some. Uh, garlic, a little bit of salt, and some, some stock that I made, turkey stock. Oh, nice. So we're going to go ahead, let's go ahead and plate this. So we're going to take some of these little pickled veggies. We'll just so colorful. Put them so neatly. Pretty. That's what I really like to mm -hmm. do, too, is just show the, the beauty that nature provides. We can add, uh, let's add some of this Romanesco. And I like to pickle the Romanesco, too. Can you find that in the store? You can. you can. It's a little more difficult to find than some other things. Okay. And this I got from Norman Mullet Farms. They're right next to me at the farmer's market. It, I mean, it kind of looks like a cauliflower. It is in the same family. It okay. is They're kids. kind of like a broccoli <laughs> cauliflower meats. Okay. So, and that keeps the, the flavors fresh and bright. We can just add a little bit of this. I know this is going to be mushroom. yummy, but I like the presentation every bit as I much know, as the I know, everything is so pretty. Just kind of work that in there. And then and I always give a shout out to your dishes too because it really does set the, the mood, right? Right. And For these are eating. these are my signature line of pottery that were created by my friend Rebecca at Graves Co. So all these beautiful dishes that I use for plating and This is all local. Yeah. That's what I like to hundred percent. hundred percent local. So then we've got some of this and I like to add this to the sauce here. It's just a little bit of stock and broth. Jason, online too. Are you online? Can we find a lot of your different products 
um, on the website? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So it's a lot of fun to uh, visit the website and yeah. see that I do a lot it's of these dishes. Shopping. A lot of these dishes at my private dinners as well. So. Yeah. And even better, we've got a QR code on the upper right hand corner of your screen, so people can just take their camera phone, awesome. scan it, that and is then so it takes cool. them directly to your website that information. That is so Isn't cool. Yeah. Awesome. So we're so techy here. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> I was thinking about making a uh, a brisketta little dish with this too, so a we can just kind of plate some of this. I've got some toasted bread. This is some bread. Oh, from... that's toasted bread. It almost looked like a slice of sausage. Yeah, right. <laughs> I wasn't so this, sure. Yeah, I was. I was actually just saying we could do another fun little dish. So we can. I'll put it on in this little okay. bowl right here. So you see, it's nice and toasted. This yeah. is bread that I sell at the farmers markets, and then you can just kind of imagine spooning a little bit of this on. Actually, I'm going to put the veggies on first. Okay, little veggies first. Bright in color. We've got to add maybe a little bit of this fresh basil that I grow in the winter time. Yes. So you got a little bit of crunch on there. All right, we'll let you plate that up, there put it all go. together. Remind us again where we can find it. It's urbanagindy.com? Actually, it's jasonmichaelthomas.com. Oh, jasonmichaelthomas.com. Easy easy com. Easiest Absolutely. way. And then, of course, Facebook, all social media, all the good stuff as well. JMT, you're sticking around, right? Absolutely. we got the lion's mane coming. Lion's mane coming up.